Okay, so let's get started with part two of our series on constructing the Tandy Bison mail bag. This is an electronic version of the instructions. I had misplaced the version that came with the kit, but it was a happy accident because the pictures in the electronic version of the instructions are much better than the pictures that come in the hard printed set of instructions. This is page one. Starts off with a listing of the parts. There are a couple of errors, so let me show you those real fast. You go A, B, C, D, and you get to E, and if you look at the illustration, there is no E. There is actually the letter F twice right there. F is the back panel, but down here you see F on this, and that's actually the gusset base. You go down to the letter I, and you will notice on the instruction set, the letter I twice, I refers to the handle, and the letter L is omitted. L refers to the buckle tab, that guy right there. You go down to the part on the parts list, and you get to the letter U, and it says small rivets. And if you go over to the instructions, you'll see just V illustrating a large rivet. And there goes my dogs. Now we've gone over to page two of the instruction set, and this just talks about mounting copper rivets and stitching. Go over to page three, starts off talking about burnishing your edges, and then it gets into the meat of the instructions. Step one and two, which deal with the installation of the closure strap and the, um, the front buckle. Pretty easy. Step three talks about Attaching the flap to the back panel, also using the back support strap, part M. We go over to the next page, and we get to step four. And step four deals with attaching the handle to the uh, flap back panel assembly, and also putting in the D-tabs. This is where you're going to use the two large rivets. And when I do this, I skive half of the thickness of half of the D-tab, and I'll show you that when we get to the building the kit. You're also attaching the gusset tab, K, to this back panel flap assembly. That's in step, that's step four. Step five is about the gusset and putting the gusset together. Pretty straightforward. And my dog's still, still barking in the background. Step six deals, and step seven also deal with the construction of the strap. The shoulder strap and when I do this I add a button stud to improve or in, uh, make sure that the Conway buckle the strap stays cinched to the Conway buckle show you that when we get into construction step eight is attaching the gusset tab to the front panel now to page six last page in the instructions and step nine deals with uh, sewing the gusset Pretty easy and straightforward. Step 10 just talks about assembling the gusset to the front and back panels. You're assembling this inside and out. And there are a couple little tips I'll show you about this. All right, so now that we've looked at the instructions, there's just a few helpful hints I'd like to show you before we terminate part two in the series. This is the interior pocket and the back panel. Notice they are not the same size. You actually start lacing the interior pocket on hole number five on both sides. One of the helpful hints is to tie these two together before you start construction. Because believe me, you me, you can mess this up. Now I'm showing you the front pocket and the front panel. Now the front pocket has these two darts on it, okay? They talk about this in the instructions, but it's not very clear, okay? And this is going to be kind of difficult for me to show you. But this dart is put together as a butt joint. I hope that means something to you. And the slot or the slit between the two pieces is actually a hole location. Notice my marks. I counted the holes. If you don't believe me, count the holes. And you understand what I'm talking about. 
And last little tip I'm going to give you is related to the gusset. Like I said, make sure that the top gusset piece is on the outside of the bottom gusset piece for both sides. Seems obvious, but be cognizant of that when you're putting the kit together. So that concludes part two of our video series, putting together Tandy's Bison Mailbag. Stay tuned for part three. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.